Good morning. We're here in Cyrusham Gardens, which is part of the Priory area of Haywards Heath. And we're here to see number 31, which is this extended semi-opposite. Uh, you can see it's also got the solar panels on the roof, which are owned by the owner, as opposed to leasehold. Uh, they produce an income of around £600 a year. Um, the Priory area is quite um, um, a popular estate. Um, some houses don't have much parking, but as you can see, this house has got parking for four, maybe even five cars at the front, and this great big garage I'm going to show you. But just so you know where we are, opposite is the old Priory. So that was, well, was the Priory at one point. It's been a restaurant. Um, probably for the last 20, 25 years, it's been uh, offices. Uh, and has now all been uh, converted into some rather lovely apartments and there's also um, some more modern park, uh, apartments there. But the location here, very central, literally as I look down the road here and I'm looking down to my north, uh, you can just about see a car moving down there. That is, if you turn left there, that, the top of that road is the roundabout at the bottom of the town centre. So very central, so the south road shops are just there. Um, you can walk around Priory Way, uh, there's lots of little shortcuts. Um, if you walk back to the uh, south, just around the corner, there's an alleyway that cuts onto Franklin Road. So if you want to work at the hospital, great place to be. So everything's very central. You can walk around to St Wilfrid's School. Uh, again, in the other direction, you've got two schools. You've got um, St Joseph's, the Roman uh, Catholic Primary School, and you've got the Warden Park Primary Academy. Uh, children from this side of town generally go to Oat Hall uh, School in Linfield. Um, although those attending the Primary Academy uh, can go to Warden Park Secondary Academy in Cookfield. So have a look at this garage firstly. Very big garage. You've got a, like all garages, it's got a lot of stuff in it, including a big trailer. I don't know if you can see, but that garage goes way underneath. Um, I think that's going under the stairs and so on. So very useful. You've got loads of storage in there. Um, obviously, it's got a great deal of potential to uh, convert it into another room if you really want to. But uh, I'm just going to quickly show you in the garden. It's a cheerful morning, but it is bright. You've got these great big double gates that lead into the garden. All a bit warped with all the wet weather we've been having. But this garden is a definite feature. Um, you've got a wall to the front, which is quite nice. You've got a great big area of side garden here. Now something, if you, if you look at this house, it has been extended. The current owners have been here well over 20 years, but this was extended before they came. Uh, but it was extended in a way, um, whereas today you probably wouldn't do this. If it was me, I'd be very tempted to fill in this corner and either make another bedroom or another bathroom upstairs, or there's even potential to either section that off and make it a little annex or even a separate little two bedroom house. I mean, there's loads of potential there. Uh, but great big shed. And then this garden opens up beautifully. So it's a great big plot. Uh, I don't have the measurements written down in front of me, but uh, I think it was about 60 feet one way and almost 70 feet the other way but what a great big plot i mean we're talking about filling in that extension on one side you've got loads of potential with this house so lots of possibilities so you know that's the garden let's walk back around the front one useful thing i mean you've got a lot of parking but if someone wanted to build a really big workshop or have more parking in here for a caravan or you know other vehicles you've got lots and lots of room there Good news is, uh, the lady who owns this property is going to be buying a property with uh, her son, so there's no onward chain, so they're ready to go. Anyway, do come in. Firstly, great big lounge dining room. So this is all part of the original house. With a front, front to back room. Just a feature fireplace on the wall there. And obviously the, the integral garage is the other side of that wall. So you can imagine if you wanted another reception, you could. And then this great big kitchen. Originally, this little section we're standing in here with this basin and these worktops on the left-hand side here, this would have been the kitchen. So obviously part of the extension was to make this extra large area of kitchen. So plenty of room, as you can see, for a breakfast table and chairs. Another sink there. I think that, that end of the kitchen, very much the utility area. Anyone with young children appreciate the utility room is very, very uh, high on the uh, tick list. It's a nice size kitchen. And then you've got this brick archway into the rear porch. I mean, this alone could have been a little utility room. Obviously a back door there. And then we've got a downstairs cloakroom with a shower in it. So this is all very nice. This was redone a few years ago, but separate shower. There's only the one bathroom upstairs, but this will save a few arguments. 
again, it's this sort of this section here where you could f fill in the front corner and make an extra room or, or whatever you wish really. So, load of potential. And then upstairs, slightly split level. So with this wall here, which we're looking at with these, this feature on the wall, that would have been the old outside wall. So this is part of the extension, which is quite a nice bedroom as well. And you could almost, uh, it's a bit of a, they're all quite good sized rooms actually. So it's a bit of a toss up as to which one do you want to call the, uh, the main bedroom. But this one's quite a nice size. That's a big double bed. Got a nice new basin in here. This is something I'm starting to see a lot in houses. People are putting basins back in the bedrooms. When I was a child, that's what you had. The kids today, they all expect their own ensuite. But nice outlook over the back gardens of the other neighboring houses there. You look out the front, obviously that's the Priory across the road. Like I say, that's all now residential, which for me is a massive improvement. Obviously, no one wants to live in a mixed residential and commercial area, but uh, this now is all residential. This is the small bedroom. So nice size, still a small double bedroom really. Okay, and that's the outlook to the front. Uh, the lady here, she doesn't actually drive, so she actually rents a small parking space uh, to one of the people that live in these new apartments. But you've got a lot of parking out the front there, so you can rent a lot of those spaces out if you wanted to. So that's the small bedroom. Front bedroom there, another nice size double. I think this is the original, in the, in, when, it, when it was probably was just a three bedroom semi, this was, would have been the main bedroom. A recess there for a wardrobe if you want it. The town centre, as I mentioned earlier, is literally around the corner. Um, you could, the station is exactly a mile, so that's very close by. And this is the back bedroom. This is the set I've called the original second bedroom. The only tells you to use this as her main bedroom. Um, like I say, yeah, station's not far. You've got a bus service running around Priory Way, um, which is very useful if you want to go anywhere else in the, in the neighbouring district. And the hospital, no lie, is literally 10 minutes up the road. A lot of people living in the Priory are here for either St Wilfrid's and St Joseph's schools or the hospital. Um, but bathroom, this has all been refitted not long ago as well. But an immaculate home, it's absolutely spotless. I'm sure whoever buys it may want to come in and make a few changes, um, but we priced it sensibly to take into account that uh, if you want to do some updating or changing, you could. Um, I think it's one of those houses, someone may want to buy this as a long-term investment to uh, extend or maybe, like I say, create the self-contained annex, or even you could probably make a little bit of money by building or trying to get planning permission to convert one end of the house into a separate, ha uh, separate two-bedroom house if wanted. But there you go. That is number 31, Sarasham Gardens. I hope you like what you see.